I've noticed that we keep getting these complaints about employees having nowhere to sit. And of course, as I'm saying that, there are none about people having nowhere to sit. But it happens every time there's a shift change, and that sort of makes sense because essentially what's happening is the night shift team is coming in while the day shift team is just leaving and some of the seats are still occupied. But what I think I'm gonna do to try and alleviate some of that problem is I'm just gonna shift the night shifts another hour forward, so 6 p.m. until 2 a.m. And then we'll do the same with the FPS games team as well, so six till two, and the same with the core team night shift as well, six until two. And I'm hoping that doing that is basically gonna put us in a situation where maybe we don't have those complaints. Maybe we don't have people getting upset. I think what we'll also do is go and select all of my teams and make sure that the vacation time is still set to six months. And I'm gonna say March until August, maybe. So they kind of get the spring and the summer a little bit there. It doesn't really make a difference, but that's just sort of what I'm thinking. And we had someone retire. You were not a team leader, which is absolutely fantastic. So we'll see if that works out. We'll see how that goes. We'll see if that's a good idea. And then looking across the board, King Doom Reborn, still making a little bit of money we've got some bugs that need fixed we'll get to that we're marketing hell shock still making a little bit of money got some bugs to fix we'll get to that as well i think what i want to do is make sure that liquid goes out as soon as possible and then doors pro edition might be what i focus on and while my teams are focusing on that i think we are going to come over to this new building and we are going to start setting up some production lines because as much as i really like the idea that the future of Nerdersoft might be in hardware. I've been thinking a little bit more about the the story that we're telling here, the lore that's going on with my little character and his upcoming retirement. And I like the idea that this guy is going to see out the company's production of King Doom. He's going to be here for the start of the third one's development. I don't think he'll be here when the third one releases unless we rush it out the door. And speaking of the second one, we are going to want to start working on that today as well. But I think we're also going to have him, we're going to have me uh, lead the company, essentially, as we start going into hardware. I think that's an interesting angle to sort of look at right there is, is you know, I'm at the head of the company and I'm like, look, I'm not going to be here to see the success of this hardware, but I'm going to be here to design it and help work on it and make sure that it's as good as it can possibly be. So there's a lot of things to get done today. First and foremost, let's sort by releases and let's start working on King Doom 8, I think, isn't it? Yeah, this King, this was King Doom 7. So King Doom 8 is the next one. We could do expansions as well. We're probably not going to. I think we're just going to go straight in. And I do, I, I was talking about this, this could be the Halo, the, the 343 Industries era of the King Doom franchise. And I, uh, I do, <laughs> I do really like the idea of King Doom Reborn, King Doom. Do we want to do Revenge? Do I want to do this or do I want to do King Doom Guardians, King Doom Infinite? I'm, I'm going to pivot, I think, and I think we are going to do King Doom Guardi, G -U -A -R -T, Guardians. I think we're going to do Kingdom Guardians because I like the idea that if we don't do a 10th game, then we can, in, in universe, we can say that Kingdom Infinite is our, you know, final uh, little stab at this franchise. So let's, let's see what we're doing with this. What can we do? Let's do a branching story. Let's throw that in there because we might as well. Uh, the framework, can we use something a little bit more modern? Have we got anything good here? We've got some Nerdersoft frameworks here from 1999. Oh, you know what? Just give them royalties for the framework. It's fine. This is a year old framework. That brings us down to approximately two years. That's great. I do need to bring these tech levels up to date though. We can't be using, we can't be using these old tech levels, which makes me think that that framework was kind of a pointless. You know what? <laughs> just do a new framework at this point. We'll just use, we'll just use Oh man, does using an old framework, is that a, I don't know if that's a good idea. These old tech levels, man, that's rough. You know what? We'll use Kingmaker again, 1991 tech levels, about a year if we did this. If we wanted to make a game on par with 1991, we'd be looking at about a year. Oh my God. Can I like shift click to bring this up? No, 
Oh, that's rough. Okay. Maybe, um... Maybe we just aren't really going to use a framework. I think, I think, I mean, we are. It's Kingmaker, but it's going to be terrible. That's fine. Kingdom Guardians, it's a game, adventure game. It's going to be $69 as per usual. Production server, development server, that's okay. We'll go to next. 2D editor for this guy. Most recent releases, Canvas 6. That's going to be me. That's perfect. Uh, 3D editor, we've got... This is, I hate this. I hate this so much. I hate this so much. It's going to be this one. It's going to be Vector 5, not Vector Studio. Not the imposter. And the audio tool. What do we got? Most recent, highest tech levels. We've got this one. 2016 tech level versus 2014 tech level. And I this is obviously my own thing. Uh, you know, I'm just... How much are we going to pay on royalties? That's the real question. I guess it doesn't really matter too much. And then operating systems. Most recent release dates, please. We've got you. This guy has 3.1 million users let's just do opti 3 and doors we'll just do those two so we have a good consumer base to reach into uh we're gonna analyze the market we're gonna focus on what we have to focus on and then in terms of teams for this i mean approximately three years for the core team we should work on another hell shock as well now that i think about it we don't need a publisher I don't like that this is this being red means it's going to be closer to four years. I really don't like that, but I think it's OK. I, I, I think I think it's going to be OK. Now, I'm also thinking that as much as I want me to lead the design of this, because obviously, you know, it's kind of it's my legacy here. It's my story. I, I think it might be a better idea to go with someone like Wiley Lynch because the creativity is going to be higher as a baseline and there is I mean there's not as much skill in games unfortunately but even even Delia Johnson would be an, uh, an example because again the skill is there the creativity it's there's a good chance it's going to be higher I think mine is locked to 50% basically is what I'm getting at so I'm going to take a chance with Delia Johnson I don't know how long Delia is going to be here but we'll find out. In fact, let's manage employees real quick. Uh, where is sort by name? Delia Johnson. You are here. You're 59 years old. Okay, so you'll be here at least for the... You'll be here for this one. You'll not be here for the next one. And that's okay. So let's start developing that. And that'll be all right. We'll go ahead and keep it sort of down there as a, as a bit of a lesser priority. And that's okay. And I guess... I guess that's sort of the next the next thing for that team. I mean, they are also working on doors. They are working on liquid. That core team is very, very busy, but I think that's fair enough. Let's let's go to Hellshock. Let's get it updated. Let's bring everything up to date. And this will sort of be the last update for Hellshock, I think, because I don't really want to spend too much time on it. We'll use Canvas. We'll use Vector. And we will use... I'm going to use this guy. Again, higher tech level. It's probably for the best. And the teams for this, we're going to say none. And then we're going to throw the FPS team at it. And we are going to throw the porting and updating teams at this as well. So they can fix the bugs. They can do all that stuff. And then once that's done, I think that's the point that we say, okay, let's start working in Hellshock 2. And maybe we just automate Hellshock. Maybe that's actually something we can do while we're waiting. If we go to project management, we can call this the... I don't know, hell shock, I guess, is what we're going to go for. Uh, the leader is... Ooh, Vector 6 is on the way. The leader is going to be, I guess, FPS Games Day. I don't know if it really matters. The design team is going to be plain and simple. It's going to be the FPS teams right there. And I think automating this is, is probably the way to go. There's going to be no secondary dev teams. The support team is going to be... We probably need to expand the support team because there's 17 tasks on that team right now. But that's fine. We'll, um, they'll manage, I'm sure. Uh, project marketing, 15 tasks. Good Lord. <laughs> Maybe my, we might want to expand that team as well. Uh, the update team is, of course, going to be porting and updating. And then the source control will be the development server. Prototype software is going to be Hellshock, which is totally fine. And the server, the production server, is what we want to use. Development time, I'm going to say 150%. I think that's a good idea. We're going to do updates. We're going to update the tech levels. 
we will release updates every three months and we're going to do that for two years for the games we're going to support them as best we can we're going to hype it auto develop only sequels frameworks single ip yes use on licenses where possible post marketing handle marketing and then print job is uh, we'll do 150,000 copies for hell shock so that's fine i do want to pause this because i don't want these guys working on it right now i want the hell shock update to sort of be the priority uh before they go into to doing all that stuff and it does seem like my little plan to move things around is working really nicely we don't seem to have people complaining about having nowhere to sit they're just stressed out by working so much and that makes sense the porting team is the porting team is being overworked i'm just gonna say it they're they're definitely being overworked they have so many tasks if we have a look here we can sort by tasks we have yeah i mean 10 these guys have 15 these guys have 17 it's we we need to expand and get a few more teams i think but for now I think this is a good little baseline. I think we're doing okay. Now, it would seem like Liquid is now in its, well, it's gonna be moving into its beta stage. We'll keep it there for a little while. We don't have to market it. We don't have to do anything like that. So I think maybe what we aim for is, I don't know, Liquid goes out in the summer, something like that. We'll kind of drop it around there. Uh, updating Hellshock is done as well. We'll push that out to the people and we'll see if that works out. And I guess that means we can go ahead and get this going which is perfectly fine by me. So Armand Crawford is gonna be leading up the Hellshock franchise. That should mean that sooner or later, we're gonna see this really, really nicely work out. Now, how did Hellshock do? Did it get any, any bonus sales? I've really got no idea. Really got no idea. 5.4 million on wave 12 though. That's not bad, 35 million profit. Kingdom Reborn still hasn't hasn't broke even, which has me really worried, but we are still porting it. We are still marketing it. I think it will break even, just barely, which again is really, really worrying. And also 659 bugs. That might be something we want to look into. That, <laughs> that might be something we want to just do something about, you know? So let's, um, let's bring those tech levels up a little bit. I don't really want the FPS game, the team working on this. What are we doing? We're doing 2D, we're doing audio, we're doing network. Let me throw my 2D and audio teams at this and we'll do this. Oh man, this is gonna be rough. That's a lot of bugs, but again, I think it needs to be done. I really do. We're, we're overloading these teams, something fierce, but it's, I think it's gonna be okay. I think we can get away with it. I'm, I'm hoping we can get away with it. At the very least, it seems that the update itself is going quite nicely. The bugs will probably go pretty quickly as well once they start getting done with the update itself. And I guess having the audio team working on that has, has helped us out. Although in saying that, obviously, the audio team doesn't work nights, so it is now just the port team or the night shift porting team. But they're, they're doing pretty good too. They're definitely, they're looking like they might actually get this to 100% before they head home which means that tomorrow it is just all in on the bugs. Now, people have noticed we haven't put out Office software recently. Really? I find that hard to believe. No one bought my Office software. No one no one cared. No one cared about my Office software, so we can we can drop that idea. Uh now let me see. Are these guys these guys are not selling anything. They're not selling any more shares right now, which is fine. I need I need I need to take over that company. I really, I really do. That's that's 100% my goal. Uh, where are we? We're back to fourth place. We are second place in terms of worth. Who are these guys? You were found in 2007. You have 26 products. Interesting. You only have 1.1 million fans. What do you make? What's your, your most recent thing? It's antivirus software. What's your highest profit? It was 110 million on antivirus software. And a video game. You had a simulation, a racing game with 100 million as well. That's not bad. That's that's definitely not bad. What's the most recent? Uh, let me see. Bank you 2018. You were founded less than a year ago with one product and you have 484 million dollars. And you did not get it off of this, this phone operating system. Interesting. OK, well, that's fine. We're not gonna worry too much about what my competitors are doing. It, it really doesn't matter. Like I said, I wanna focus in on the King Doom thing. I wanna get Hellshock uh, 2 under development at some point. 
I don't even know if you can. Can you lead this, Armand? Oh yeah, there we go. So that'll that'll get going at some point. I guess we should look into this hardware thing then, huh? That's that's kind of gonna be the big deal for uh, for old Nerdsoft. So this is where it's all gonna come down to. This I don't know if this is gonna be a printing floor or what this is gonna be. I think ideally I kind of want to start at the top and work my way down through the building. So let's go to develop software and I'm torn between a console and a phone. I think a phone's gonna be the easier thing to start with. I wanna, yeah, I wanna say a phone's gonna be easier. You also get to design it, which I always forget about. You can do like an old school cell phone looking thing. Uh, you can do an antenna, I think. Yeah, I love that. <laughs> Genuinely, that makes me very happy. Um, I'm gonna do a smartphone, I think. I <laughs> think we need to do, I think we need to do a smartphone. Uh, we can change the screen width. We can change, we can do a notch or no notch. I think we're gonna do a notch. Make it a little bit wider, a little bit thinner. I'm gonna go for a nice wide notch right there. Looks pretty good. Can I, what else can I change? Screen height bottom, we'll make it a little bit, a little bit lower. Screen height top, go up a little bit. Just a nice big screen on this. What else we got? Depth. So it can be a brick or it can be super thin. We can do bezels or no bezel. Wait, what is this? Oh no. Oh, absolutely not. No, 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 no. Bring that right down. There is one, we can make it wider, we can make it thinner. I'm gonna go something like this. That seems pretty good. There's a certain thing I'm looking for, bezel thickness. We'll do this. Can I not change the, ah, don't wanna curve the back of it. That looks like it's got a battery that wants to explode. That's really not what I'm looking for. Ah, rounded edges, there we go. So we get the nice rounded edges. That looks pretty good, honestly. I kind of really like the golden sort of brown thing that's going on, just like a nice gold phone is uh, is pretty solid then changing the style get the brown around the edges get it up there i think style i think that i think that's pretty solid gives us a nice oh it gives us the brown bezel around the sides i like this i think that's good that's gonna be our product that's what it's, that's what it's gonna look like and then in terms of putting stuff in here 3d rendering obviously networking yes we're gonna do auto updates we're gonna do I guess cloud backups and we're going to do an app store already has solid interest, which is great. I don't really know if I care about uh, file encryption. I think system recovery is going to be good. Uh, user accounts. No plug and play multitasking. We'll do multitasking for sure. We'll do vibrations. We'll do touch and we'll do. We got a lot of wasted interest here, but we'll do. We'll do something like this. We'll keep it relatively basic, I think, to not overdo I mean, we're already doing a lot of wasted interest, but there's a lot of stuff we can upgrade in the future. So I think that's fine. Uh, 368 is the recommended price. I'm gonna do 299 for the price. And then the product name, oh boy. Two hours later. Just do just do the end phone. I think that's what we do. We'll, let's go, we'll go boring with it and do end phone for now. And that's all right. We've got the design, we've got the price, manufacture, well, new framework as well. Um, end phone. Actually, we'll just do NOS, Nerdersoft Operating System, is, is what we'll go for there. And that'll be okay. Uh, <laughs> that's, yeah, that's totally fine. So that's all of that out of the way. We don't have operating systems. We are going to auto balance this. We'll analyze the market, apply this as well. Uh, the next page is all of this. We'll figure out what teams are doing this shortly. In fact, there's going to be nobody for now because we're going to create dedicated teams for this project. And then I need to look at the manufacturing. And this is the tricky part. This is this is the very tricky part. So we need to start. We need printers. We need two printers that can do touch sensors. So I'm going to minimize this. And this is where I have to go in and start building stuff. So if we go into furniture, we can go into utilities. No, we can go into distribution. So we need component printers. And we needed two of these guys. good I'm, I'm happy with that okay so that's our phone production line um that all gets shipped out that's great we don't need any of this right now because the phone is gonna be a few years down the line but this at least this works right at least this is now a thing so if we go back in here 
uh we can close this we can go along to next we are gonna need some designers and some programmers we need eight designers 15 programmers so that's 23 people in total that's fine that's that's totally okay um let's do i mean it needs it needs system it needs network it needs audio 3d 2d and hardware okay let's let's develop it we are going to continue and develop it anyway despite the fact that it has some reservations that's okay minimize all of this and we are going to need so many things so let's manage these teams we hmm. <laughs> what way do i want to do this so that's that's the phone team i don't know what i've just what is that i think that's noise uh so we have uh we have a phone team okay <laughs> oh man do i want to do a night shift on this i don't know if i do i don't want to overdo it either right so we needed like eight designers and we have system hardware network 2d 3d audio oh man that's gonna be a lot okay let's have a look at this phone team then so you guys hr management we're gonna give you like three million dollars and that's totally fine so that is that is three million i think three million for your budget you're gonna handle everything role selection is uh best then secondary i think is what we'll go for and that's all right education level max it out and let's say like four of you can go there and that's fine so oh boy we are gonna want uh i'm gonna say 10 designers 20 programmers and i'm really hoping i can pull this off <laughs> <laughs> I'm really hoping I can pull this off. I'm going to go for high salaries and then specializations. It's just going to be everything, really. So all of the development stuff is, is what we're looking for. And that should be fine. Uh, traits, ideally, I would like... Let's see. I need people that can that can learn really well. That's that's kind of ideal. And that should be all right. So that's that's a lot of people. That is, that's 30 people. That's to be expected. That's That's okay um we do i think have 10 yeah we have 10 chairs in each of these i think what we'll actually do is go to the phone team and change this to 19 because one of those desks is going to be for a team leader that's fine we'll also bring education up to like eight people and we'll see if that works out so <laughs> i'm so i'm i'm quite nervous about this uh let's get a leader filter by compatibility doesn't matter HR automation, yes, because I do want to automate this eventually. And you are going to be going to my my phone team is where you're going to be going. So let's start by skill. We've got you, HR automation. This is this is really good, actually. This is this is fantastic. So you are hired. Let's manage those teams. Let's go to employees. Let's change your roles. And I think if I remember right, yeah, you can do a little bit of programming and a little bit of art. So we'll have those as secondary. And I guess now that phone team should fill out a little bit, right? So we should start. Yeah, there we go. Numbers are coming up. Salaries are pretty good. Let's, uh, oh man. <laughs> let's, uh, let's just, let's accept this, I guess. Or assign, wait, you have no applicable employees with design as their primary role. Oh, okay. Well, that's all right. Let's give it to the phone team. And then operating system that's pretty good you know what i think yeah derek you can you can lead that up i guess is what we're gonna do and there we go we have a team now working on a cell phone i don't know how i feel about that it's it's a weird feeling it's a really weird feeling that there's now people in this building but it's it's good i want to say i want to i want to say that's a good thing i want to say that it's gonna be i mean they're designing it pretty quickly too so I mean, the hardware is done immediately. Let's have a look at the skills on this team. Oh, it's a pretty good spread as well. I mean, the art kind of sucks, but there's we didn't need any artists. Yeah, that's good. I, I think we'll be fine. I'm suddenly tempted to... I'm suddenly tempted to get a second team, basically. You know what I've realized might also be a really good idea? We might want to get another accounting team because I'm relatively confident in saying yeah these guys are not very good at handling my taxes <laughs> they're really they're, they're definitely 
well, they're struggling is, is what they're doing. They're definitely, definitely struggling. So I, I think we just get another one. I think we get like, um, <laughs> I guess an accounting night shift team is kind of what I'm looking at. So we'll copy you guys. Uh, we'll do accounting. And honestly, I really should just do it this way to mark that it's a night shift rather than writing the whole word because it's just easier, really. So we'll do this. We'll have our day shift. We'll have our night shift. We are going to want how many employees? There's six of them. Do you have a team leader? HR management. Oh, my God. Hold on a minute. <laughs> how many? There's 10. Okay. Okay. All right. <laughs> Suddenly, I'm starting to figure out why the accounting team is kind of useless. That makes, makes a lot of sense, actually. <laughs> okay. All right. Well, you know what? Hire a leader. Uh, service is secondary. Filter pad compatibility for the accounting team day shift. And we're going to want... I, I, we don't really need automation. So I'm going to give them multitasking. Because they're going to have a lot of things to do. So begin looking. You guys are great, actually. So HR, automation, multitasking perfect denny powell welcome to the accounting team you are gonna be great is what you're gonna be you are gonna be doing this and this and that's fine so now the accounting team has a leader if i now go and look at hr management did i never set this up oh my god i never set this up that's why okay that explains a lot oh educate educate three at a time service it's gonna be do they have an office i want to say 10 of them yeah, I want to say 10 specializations are just going to be accounting. I kind of want you guys to learn quickly and I kind of want high salaries so that hopefully things work out. And I'll give them like $2 million just so that works out nicely. So the accounting team, do we? Yeah, we do have an accounting office. So accounting day shift. Let me grab both of these spaces and we will throw not all, none, accounting and then accounting night. So that should be fine. That'll work out. We then probably want to... We probably actually want to just delete this team now that I think about it. So disband the night shift and then copy you. We'll do it again just so it copies all the HR stuff. And then we want to say, what was it? 6 p.m. until 2 a.m. That'll keep them nice and happy. Oh, man. I can't believe I never noticed that. I genuinely can't believe I never noticed that my accounting team... I, I've, I've been thinking about it, right? I've been like, oh, my accounting team's really suffering, but now it makes a lot of sense. It really does. It makes so, it makes so much sense. Filter by compatibility. Begin looking. Uh, accounting night... No, not the 3D team. The accounting night shift. And then sort by skill. We've got you. You're pretty solid. You're hired. Welcome. Let's get that team going as well. Oh, man. I'm so... <laughs> I'm so, I'm so disappointed in myself. I really am. Uh, leader and service. Boom. There you go. So both those teams should start to fill out, which is perfect. We, we can get away actually. HR management. Yeah. So 10 service. That's fine. We, we might still get fined this year because I'm pretty sure they're not going to complete my, my tax reports quick enough, but that's okay. I mean, it's not, but it's, it's okay. You know, I've just been thinking about the office team and I've realized that it is the 2D art that seems to be holding them back. Now, I did just have to replace their leader because the old one retired. But what that got me thinking was what's going on with the art. And I realized that we only have one artist on that team, which is probably why things are a little bit slow, because that one artist is going to be doing all of the high level uh, art on the project. So... I'm going to rename the office team to office team day, and we're going to just do what we've been doing by getting ourselves uh, another office team. So office uh, team uh, night for this one. And what I'm going to do for the office team night shift is I'm going to drop the number down a little bit. So we're going to go three, we're going to go three, and we're going to go three. And that's hopefully going to help us out a little bit. It gives us a couple more artists. It means that Nerdsoft Suite Pro might actually end up going out the door at a reasonable time and we can hope for the best that's that's kind of where i'm at with it so where is the office team office that's the real question where where does the office team lead actually go and and does the office team not have a leader's office am i blind 
Am I, am I just, hold on a minute. So office team day, there are 10 desks in there. There are how many people on the office team? Oh, we don't have a leader's office for them. Okay. Well, I guess that's fair enough. They can uh, deal with that, I suppose. Didn't realize I hadn't given them an office, but okay. That's all right. Let's hire an employee. Compatibility doesn't matter. HR automation. Yeah, we're going to go for automation because we're probably going to look into automating this whole thing. So Dane Perez, congratulations. You are going to the, uh, the office team night shift. So we'll hire you. We'll go in. We'll get that set up. So employees, we want to go to you. Change your roles. You can do some programming, which is great. So we'll have that as your secondary thing. But that should now mean that hopefully, once we have this night shift team coming in, hopefully we're going to see uh, the sweet pro thing take off a little bit. And then for the third one, because this is the second one, I think for sweet pro three or sweet three, whatever we want to call it, that's going to be automated. That's going to be a project. That'll be totally fine. I've been nominated for some more awards. We got best employer. We are hopefully going to get, and we did get, best product and most profitable product. That's me, I think. Oh. All right. Well, my subsidiary is doing all right. That's not bad. I also think, what did I get here? You've received a platinum award for winning most profitable product five years in a row. You've received a platinum award for winning best product five years in a row. We got more platinum awards. Oh, look at me. What about, what about, oh, look at those. They look so good. They're not going out here. They're going to my office. I'm going to have to make room for them in my office because uh, they're a little bit, look at that. Look at that. Mm, very happy about that. Really, really happy about that. <laughs> so good. It's worth a million dollars as well. Um, <laughs> Where am I going to put this? I put it like here. That does look a little bit silly. Um, hmm. I need more. I need more shelf space, man. <laughs> Maybe we get rid of you, and we'll copy. We'll copy a shelf from over here, and we'll do. Uh, we'll do two of them right there, and we'll do. We'll do this guy and uh, and this guy. Look at that. Look at that. I, oh man. This is like this is this is bringing me back to my Xbox days where everything was just like achievements, achievements, achievements. Give me give me them achievements. You know. I just, just all of them, every single one. Give me, give me all the achievements, every single one. Now, I'm really hoping that this, uh, this night shift team here is actually going to be good for this project. It definitely doesn't seem like it's sped up at all, which has me quite concerned, but I'm going to hope for the best. I'm going to hope for the best. I'm going to, I'm going to have faith in this team to to do their thing but it really does seem like the uh the code and the art is it's it's taken its sweet time a company i have invested in has started selling more shares they have started selling 5.5 percent don't mind if i do don't mind if i do that brings me up to 41.4 percent of that company we're getting there we're <laughs> we are getting there Obviously, you know, uh, if we look at releases, oh, they've done something new. Good for them. They're finally not, you know, banking on on my credibility and my status. I'm sure they're working on another, you know, vector studio, but this is good. This is this is this is good for me. Quite quite profitable. Those things. Um, can I get an exclusivity deal? I don't know if it's worth getting an exclusivity deal at this point, but I could. Would you give me that IP? 46 million? Okay. What about Vector? Would you give me that? 2.2. Oh, I could. I could finally buy those, those properties. I want the company though. <laughs> I don't, I don't care about the IP anymore. I just want the company. That's, that's the punishment, right? It's not as satisfying to just go and buy the IP. It's much more satisfying to take over, to buy out the company so that they just don't exist anymore. Or I turn them into a subsidiary and have them do all my porting jobs or something like that. Oh, that would be, that would be the pun. That's what we do. We turn them into a subsidiary and we have that company port all of my, pro all like vector and all that stuff. That's what we do. You wanna, you wanna work on the rail thing? Okay, here you go. Port it to all the other operating systems. Oh, they're selling another 6.7, absolutely. 45.4 percent i'm gonna do it <laughs> you guys want to work on the real thing that is fine by me 
Oh, I'm so here for this. I am so here for this. We've also gone down to just a handful of digital distribution platforms now, which is interesting. We've got these guys, 31.9% of the market, 31.9% here. I'd like to get up there. I am noticing more and more companies are signing up for Liquid, so we might very well get there. And it also looks like Enphone is about to... It's it's about to make moves. It's about to get... Uh, it's about to move into that alpha stage, which is very, very exciting. I'm actually kind of looking forward to it and also slightly concerned that it's entirely possible that the Enphone is going to be out before Nerdsoft Suite Pro. Don't know how I feel about that. I don't... <laughs> I don't feel good about it. I'll tell you that. I definitely don't don't feel good about it, nor do I feel proud about it. But I guess it is what it is. Now, let me take a little bit of a look here at what we've done recently. So this went out a year ago. Apparently, we're not releasing anything in 2020. Oh, wait, no, hold on. I think I see something. 2D Editor, Canvas 7 is going out in December. We actually have dates in all of these. So we have one thing going out this year. We have one thing going out next year. We have three things aiming for 2020. 2022, sorry. Hellshock might get brought back, though. Some things do get released early, so it's entirely possible that Hellshock is going to be a 2021, which would be nice. That would definitely, definitely be a nice thing. Now, can these guys... Can these guys push forward with the end phone? There we go. Let's get that developed. And uh, we also need to assign it to my my phone teams because apparently it wasn't assigned properly. There we go. So we'll get that assigned. We're not going to market it. We could start printing it. Oh, God, we could. We, we could. <laughs> I'm going to pause, though. Hold on a minute. Maximum of 100,000. This doesn't seem like a good idea to print this right now. Because, I yeah, I don't, I don't know why we're... I don't know why we're doing this. I don't even know. Oh, we are, we are making it, though. Look at that. That's pretty good, though. So we should... Yeah, we got all, like, the components going around... And there's the final thing. Oh, does that mean we have... Yeah, look at you. So that's the phone coming down the conveyor belt. And then going out here. And there we go. We've got boxes upon boxes of the uh, of the end phone just sitting there. Years before it's actually going to be, you know, released. But I guess that just means that uh, it's going to have a massive day one update. And that's okay. We'll... <laughs> We can deal with that. Oh, look at this. Canvas 7 has gone out the door. It is great. It's inspiring. The last one was great and inspiring as well. And the last one did pretty good money. So I'm looking forward to this. Let's immediately start porting it to Bot X, since that's going to be good for us. And they can just go and do their own thing. We are porting Longsword at the moment as well. We'll make that a top priority just because it's nearly done. So that is going to be the top priority for those guys. How did it do? We did 5.3 million last month, 4.1 in profit. That's kind of amazing. That's kind of fantastic news. Very much okay with that. Did we... Wait, are they selling more? Oh, 2.7, really? 46.8% of that company. I'm so close to taking it over, man. I'm so close. I'm gonna get it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna turn them into a subsidiary. And they're just gonna go and work on on porting vector to everything. That's that's kind of, that is their future. Although speaking of porting, I realize there are some things that can probably go onto that new operating system. Bot X has a lot of active users, so if we just sort of go down this list, I'm gonna just send a bunch of porting jobs to my port team. Uh, even King Doom Reborn, I'm pretty sure has uh, some potential. Yeah, we've got quite a few operating systems here. We'll just move it on to as many things as we can. That'll be the last thing we work on, though, for uh, the porting. And I think what we'll do is make Longsword sort of the top priority, make all of these guys sort of lesser priorities, and we're just going to prioritize one at a time, and that's how we're going to work through. Oh, please. 0.4%, really? Really? <laughs> that gives me a solid 47% of the company, though, so we're getting there. We're definitely getting there. I think they know what they're doing now, though. They they know they know exactly what they're doing. Also, how expensive is that company now that I... Th Ooh, I'm the most valuable. Nice. Okay. <laughs> that's that's fine by me. Who am I buying shares in? It's, you, no, it's not you guys. Who do I... Who do I have stocks in right now? <laughs> field biz. All right. So field biz are here. 
they are worth a lot of money. <laughs> I think it's all well and good that I'm putting all these stocks into the company. I don't know that I can actually take it over. So we'll see how that goes. Finished print job for Hellshock 2. That has me concerned. Yeah, there it is. I was brought forward to June this year. I knew that was coming. You know what I've realized? I don't know if I went through and made sure that all of my automated tasks are relying on both the day and night shift teams for the uh, the porting. It looks like they they are, which is great. I just wanted to double check though, because I've noticed that the porting tasks we're doing down here, they go way, way quicker overnight. We also just put wave 13 out, which is amazing news. Is it... It's great. It's inspiring. Wave was eh, great and inspiring. Okay. Well, let's uh, start printing that with 125,000 copies. Uh, that's totally okay. We're going to start porting it because, of course, we are to this platform, which is great. And yeah, like I said, it seems that um, it, it does seem that we do much faster porting overnight, which is making me think that the day shift team is maybe struggling a little bit, but it doesn't, you know, that actually did go pretty quick. So maybe they're not. I don't know. It's it's definitely a weird one. A company I've invested in. Eh, we're 47.4. That's fine. What are you guys complaining about? Can't find any food. Really? Buddy, there's there's a canteen downstairs. There's vending machines in the holes. You will be fine. You're not going to starve. You you will be okay. So just, you know, quit your complaining, basically, <laughs> is, is what I'm getting at. Uh, now, I will say, actually, if we look here, it's just gone night. And look how quick that port goes. Maybe the night shift update team is just way better. In fact, hold on a minute. I have a theory. Did I, did I? Yeah, that's why, <laughs> that's why. Are these guys, wait, they don't have a level three HR leader. Wait, what? Wait a minute. Oh, first off, uh, yeah, we, we, ha we brought these teams in intentionally. I remember now we brought these teams in intentionally to be slightly less uh, highly skilled. Uh, oh boy. Why do you guys not have a level three team lead? What's going on with that? Let me have a look at your leadership skills. Yeah, we probably want to fire you. I kind of do want to fire you. You're... <laughs> Get out of here, you. We'll dismiss you. We're going to not develop software. We're going to hire someone that can actually, you know, do this. So compatibility... Porting day shift, HR automation, no, uh, multitasking is what we're looking for. We'll begin looking. Compatibility is great. Skills are great. Yeah, you, you're, you're going to be coming in. You're going to that porting team. That's fine. Employees, we're looking for you and you are going to be uh, just their leader. Honestly, you can do programming as secondary. I don't know if you're any good at it. But at least that way, we will now have a good team if and when people quit. That explains a lot. I know that the whole point of that team originally, oh, what do you want? So you want a fixed rate. That's a lot of money. How much am I paying you right now? You want like, what, $600, $548 more? Um, yeah, okay, sure. You're not very happy, but that's all right. We'll bring you in. That's all right. We can we can make that work. Uh, yeah, I know the whole point of the porting teams was that they were not exactly the highest skilled, but I think at this point, it's it's probably for the best. Now, let's go ahead and start developing uh, Doors Pro Edition. Let's get that given to my core team as per usual. And now that means that the core team is free to both develop Doors Pro Edition and design Kingdom Guardians. We might, hmm, we might need more people working on either or because Kingdom Guardians is not going to take that long to go through the design. I don't think we're going to have doors out the door before that happens. So we'll see what happens. We'll see how it goes. We'll hope for the uh, hope for the best. What are you guys doing? Nothing. 47.4%. I'm so close. I'm 2.6% away from taking over that company, potentially. Oh, wow. Look at this. Past month for wave 13 was 12, 12 million. That's, that is not bad. That's, that's a hell of a jump. 7.5 into 12 million. That might be the highest single month turnaround that we've ever seen in the company. I'm not really keeping track of those numbers. I'm pretty sure I've said that before, but... 
that's a really good that's a really really good turnaround for uh for something that's just automated it's it's embarrassing it's still it's still i still consider it embarrassing because we're just <laughs> we're just like i'm anything i'm designing is useless basically is what's happening and i don't know how i feel about that but i will say actually looking at it everything we have scheduled for every every project is releasing something this year so if we look right now uh at, at our releases we have something in march so we had something in march that was really good we're gonna put out four pieces of software we're putting out four products this year that's pretty good and honestly the end phone could be the end phone might not be far away but i think what we're gonna do with the end phone is i also don't like the name end phone i'm gonna be honest what do we got we've got like samsung have like galaxy we could do galaxy we could do like cosmic Ooh, cosmic the nerdrosoft cosmic doesn't quite roll as well as samsung galaxy nerdrosoft solar like solar system yeah celestial <laughs> the nerdrosoft cause no i don't know <laughs> star the nerdrosoft star sounds like a newspaper hmm maybe we <laughs> i'll come up with something i'll come up i'll come up with something oh i think i've got it the nerd Rosoft astro i like astro or just astro on its own astro astro phone astro phone astro phone kind of like astro phone kind of i kind of like that actually astro phone it's yeah i don't know it sounds like it might mean something i don't know but astro phone has like you know we're trying to get that like we're getting like the galaxy like you got your samsung galaxy you got the astro phone and then we can do astro phone 2 and 3 yeah i like it that's a good <laughs> i don't i don't know if it's good all right i don't know but it sounds it sounds great i'm uh <laughs> i'm here for it i'm absolutely here for it it's also nearly it is so nearly done i i could probably i could probably set a release date but i think we're gonna hold off just to be careful Oh, wow. Hellshock 2 has gone out. Is it any good? It's outstanding and inspiring, but the marketing is sparse. That's really unfortunate. Okay, let's get you ported to some different operating systems. There's actually a lot that you can go to. I'm going to go for all of these and let's... The update will be managed automatically. Uh, start printing 125000. Should be okay. Let's look here. Designing Hellshock 3. That's great. Pre-marketing and post-marketing is the projects, guys. We might need more people on that team or just another marketing team to handle projects. How did we do last month? 20 million. Not bad. That was because... Uh, let's see. Past month profits of 11 million there. 7 million there. Not bad. Not bad. I'm really pleased that Hellshock 2 is i mean the first one was outstanding and ordinary this one is outstanding and inspiring this might be the hell divers 2 to our hell divers 1 i want to see how it does i i'm suddenly very very curious to see to uh to see how that goes i'm hoping for some good things i'm i'm really really hoping for some good things i'm not gonna lie it's uh it's potentially gonna be huge for us outstanding and inspiring i think it could be visionary that would be i think that's better than inspiring we might get there one day but oh what do we got best employer it's gotta be every time every time and then best product was not me this time with uh canvas seven but that's that's all right i'll take it let's get another another little trophy up here we don't have any room for the the canvas stuff but we can we can just keep going with best employer i don't know what to do now i've got nowhere to put my trophies what did you guys what is this canvas 7 who worked on canvas 7 that was the that's the 2d team right where's my 2d team you guys are over here you guys can have an award i guess <laughs> we'll give it to the leader actually you know what no we're not going to give it to the leader because it doesn't have the benefits if you give it to the leader um let's give it to you put it in your desk there you go buddy congratulations enjoy enjoy the award what does that do I've got no idea what it does. <laughs> I'm sure it has an effect on the room. I don't remember what it is, but that'll keep them that'll keep them happy, I'm sure. That'll that'll keep them yeah. <laughs> that'll keep them happy. Now, Astrophone just hit 100% on its on its code. How did we 10 companies canceled their digital distribution? What do you mean 10 companies can't okay. Okay. 
How did Hellshock do? Not very well. <laughs> I mean, it could have been could have been worse. It made money. I'll take it. Um, don't know how I feel about it, but I'll take it. Anyway, let's get Astrophone into beta. Let's figure out a release date. So let's have a look at the calendar. I don't think 2021. I think 2022. Do we have any phones coming out in 2022? We're looking for a computer operating system, uh, console operating system. Let's do July 2022. We'll give it a year. You know what? No, let's do like January. We'll give it six months of marketing. That's all we need. It's probably not enough, but that's that's what we're going to go for. Uh, so 2022, we'll do January 2022. Announce that. Market this thing with everything we can throw at it. Make that a top priority. Uh, where is it? Why have I just it's down there? Uh, <laughs> market it with a press build. Let's let's hype this thing as well. Make sure that everybody knows this is going to be the biggest thing since sliced bread, right? That's that's the goal. We want people to know about it and be excited about it. Oh, so Vector 7's just gone out as well. It's also outstanding and inspiring. So, I mean, immediately we're going to have to port it. That's that's a must. Start printing 125000 as per usual. That'll keep us good. We're having a knockout year. This this company, Nerdrosoft, is doing amazing. Next month, we are due to have Longsword 12 go out. I'm hoping for good things there as well. We've got our first piece of hardware going out in a couple of months, which is crazy exciting. I'm hoping people like it. I'm hoping it's I'm hoping it's a good thing. I'm hoping I'm hoping that uh I mean it had its full design phase, right? We've got Sweet Pro as well. This honestly. I'll be very surprised if it doesn't go out soon as well. I don't know if we're going to get it out by the end of the year. It'd be nice, though. It would be nice if Sweet Pro went out by the end of the year. I don't see it happening, but, you know, we can we can dream. I also want to point out, in the past month, we had 5.6 million on Canvas 7, 12.4 million on Wave 13, 5.5 million on Hellshock 2, and 2.4 million on Vector 7. We're doing really, really nicely here. Hellshock 1, by the way... 22 million in lifetime profits so far. Hellshock 2, after what, two months, three months out, is pretty much halfway there. So I think Hellshock 2, having that be an automated thing, might have been a really good idea. Longsword 12, outstanding and inspiring. I would expect nothing less from, from these teams. We're we're getting into a really, really good uh, rhythm with, with Nerdrosoft right now really really pleased about how things are going i do want to get all these ports done though which is going a bit slower than i'd like but that's okay that's that's totally fine <laughs> as long as it all gets out the door i am happy enough so let's see how we did now it's october 2021 longsword last month did 5.4 we had 2.3 here we had 7.4 in hell shock 13.6 on wave 13 5.9 in canvas 7 Hellshock 2, one more month, it will pass the profits of the original game. This, I think, might be our most successful... September 2021 might be our most profitable month on, on record. That's, that's something I'm actually really curious to look into. Can I just so get rid of all of these for a second? And I want to have a very quick look and see. If I sort by sales and I look at yearly sales, and I look at it over the course of, I don't want to do 1980. I, let's see, can I, can I extend this a little bit? There's what I'm looking for. So if we just bring this down a little bit to here, so that's showing us, I mean, from all time, yeah, we've got, let's see, sales, yeah, that has shot up quite considerably. So in the space of a year, so September 2020, we did 5.1 million in sales. September 2021, 47.4 million in sales. I mean, that's not bad. That's that is not bad. If we have a look at our balance, our peak was 705 million. We are now shooting back up. We're doing quite well here. 530 million is uh, is not bad. I also want to have a look at my insurance. So we did invest some bonds, and it does seem that we can now withdraw those bonds, which uh, I'm thinking we might do. I, I think we withdraw those. 
and then maybe deposit another hundred million in there. You know what? No, I'm I'm good. Let's withdraw the eight dollars as well. Um, that's that's fine. Six hundred forty-two million dollars. Where is that place, Nerdersoft, with all the companies? We are here. Eight hundred forty-nine worth. Bank. We're at the top as well. We're doing really well for ourselves. We're. <laughs> I'm really pleased with this. Uh, my subsidiaries dropped off a little bit though. If we look at their details, they have got some things coming up. They've got a, an expansion pack going out next month. They have two games going out next year. I'm hoping that they're going to be all right. If they run out of money, they run out of money, though. That's their problem. I'm not really too interested in, in dealing with that. And you know what's wild is I didn't think my sales would go any higher, but we went from 47.4 to 54.4 million dollars in sales in October, which means... If we have a look, past month, 6.2, 2.2, 9.7. Hellshock just did $9.7 million. 15.1 and 6.3. This, the last 12 months for Nerdrasoft have wildly been the most successful this company has ever been in a 12 month period. And it might, might get better. Since we do, we have Astrophone going out in just a couple of months. We've got Doors, where is it? Doors Pro Edition, which honestly, I think at this point, we're just going to rename. I think we might pull away from the the whole like Pro Edition thing. And I think we are just going to go with Doors. I mean, this Doors, I, I don't know when it's going to go out. We can rename it up until sort of the last moment, but I think we're just going to call it Doors 2. We're going to sort of lean back into it. We'll just go with Doors 2 as the uh as the name for it or we could do doors 20 because it's going out in the 20s right it'll be out in like 2022 2023 probably 2023 for doors 2. uh sweet pro i think we're gonna drop the nerdrasoft at the front of that and we will stick with um we'll stick with sweet pro i think the next one will just be sweet three yeah i think we're gonna start moving away from it so sweet pro doors 2 then Suite 3, that'll be automated. Doors 3 might be automated as well. And then Astro Phone and like hardware is going to be the thing I focus on from that point. I think is I think that's the goal. So at this point, let's let's get to January and let's see if if Astro Phone is going to be good. I'm hoping it is. It better be. I'm going to be annoyed if it isn't. And just like that, it is January 2022. Astrophone needs to go out today. We fixed a bunch of bugs, but today is the day. No one's going to know who we are. That's okay. We can tell a lot of work went into it. Five stars, five stars, and two because they don't know who I am. That's okay. Let me do a, you know what, 75,000. We don't need to spend 75,000 in the marketing, I don't think, but it's sparse, so maybe... Maybe that is a good idea. Uh, we also have a release date for Sweet Pro. It is going to be going out in May of 2022, which is very exciting. I'm also going to pause and look at this. Astrophone is outstanding and inspiring. You know what that means we need to do? That means that we need to make sure that all of my software is going straight onto Astrophone. Anything that can get onto that, uh, onto that operating system is gonna go onto that operating system. So can I can I put Hellshock 2 on it? I can. Yes, I can. Oh boy. I <laughs> I'm hoping for the best here, man. I'm really hoping for the best. Uh Canvas, I don't know if it can go on there. It's it absolutely cannot. Long Sword 11 is fine. We'll just port those two things to it and that'll be alright. Um Man. <laughs> There's a lot. There's a lot we need to do. We're not gonna start a sequel to this yet. We are immediately going to update this, is what we are going to do. Just to make sure that it is as good as it can possibly be. We want the phone teams working on this. They're not even into work yet, which is fine. So start that update and just make it a priority. It shouldn't take too long to do. No, it's gonna, oh, it's gonna be done before we even get sales reports. That's what I'm looking for right there. That is what I want to see. It's slowing down on the 3D a little bit, but we'll get that update out there. That should give us the best possible opportunity for Astrophone to do to do some good. I might even go and say 
put my phone team on the doors project just to see if we can move that along a little bit faster just to see what we can do i'm curious to see if the phone team working on doors is it might speed things up it does look like it's going a little bit faster 58 59 60 yeah that might actually be really good for us now let's hold on a minute we just we're at 753,000 right now how do we do we need to make 20 million on astro phone past month numbers are down a little bit but it's not the end of the world i i'm curious minus 75 turns into six you know what six million is that's not bad that's that's not bad Twenty nine thousand units that's considerably more successful than kingdom whatever it was kingdom reborn was that's that's not bad i'm actually actually okay with that that's okay okay that's <laughs> oh man there was me worried that it was gonna flop horrendously it still needs to make money of course but that's oh okay that is um hopefully gonna get better i mean marketing is now prominent so we might see more sales as a result of marketing actually being a thing now so if that's the case we might i mean we're closing in on a billion dollars we're not that far off i think we now have more money than we've ever had so sales did drop that's fine if i look at my balance yeah i think we do in fact have more money now than we've ever had not oh man what a what a what a year what a year 7.6 on astro phone a subsidiary is running out of money really oh god they've only got 12 million left come on don't make me give you money don't you know what here's 100 million that's there's 100 million for you there you go enjoy that'll keep them happy that'll hopefully keep them going if these games flop then i'm gonna get rid of the subsidiary it's it's that simple the uh <laughs> we're not we're not keeping them if the games happen to flop and speaking of subsidiaries you guys you guys selling anything no soon soon you you will i'm sure you will soon it'll be it'll all be mine it will all be mine that's that's the goal here is that uh everything that company has will very very quickly very very quickly end up being mine ah uh, i'm i'm actually i'm actually really pleased i i'm really really pleased with where the company is now that's um that's a that's a lot of good things have happened to uh happened to nerdrasoft today i wasn't really expecting it i'm also slightly concerned now that these port jobs are taking a really long time so let me bring this down let me make the vector one a priority because it's only one platform that it needs to go to and we'll circle back to the hellshock one successfully filed my tax reports they have raised their revenue cut interesting i don't know how i feel about that that's i mean i'm gonna stay on their platform anyway but it is what it is i guess astrophone another 7.2 million has it made a profit yet no it still has a long way to go hellshock 2 65 million in profit though not bad and you know what just to cap off an otherwise fantastic run for this company we're gonna release sweet pro which might i remind you started development almost 10 years ago <laughs> so this thing is gonna be a little bit outdated uh <laughs> oh man oh no let's wait the price of the software is currently a lot higher than suggested based on its feet wait wait a minute wait <laughs> wait what do you mean based on its features what what is that supposed to mean <laughs> oh no should have stayed in the last decade <laughs> oh no oh it's a subscription model oh that's why i forgot i did that oh <laughs> okay um Give it a marketing budget of like 30,000. I don't think it's going to need much more than that. <laughs> How much did this cost to develop? It needs to make 4.3 million. It's great and ordinary, which is great. Um, Let's update it. Oh my God, those tech levels though. Oh, those tech levels hurt. It is so outdated. It is so outdated. 
Oh man. What do we got for tech levels? Give me give me canvas seven. Give me um yeah, give me that, I guess. That's fine. And then the teams working on this. It's not gonna be the phone team, which apparently doesn't yeah, doesn't have artists, that makes sense. Um morning an update. And you know what? Give me uh what is it? Sweet, give me the office team working on this as well. So I'll get those guys all doing it. Update. Uh, port, I guess, to all of these. That's that's probably fair enough. Um, and let's make that update kind of the top priority for for these guys. Even bring that down right now. Let's just see if we can get this thing to be. I, I don't know, man. <laughs> I don't know that the subscription model was a good idea. It might have been 10 years ago. I mean, admittedly, you know, Adobe is subscription based and all that. Anyway, it really doesn't matter. I don't think Sweet Pro is. Um, I don't. <laughs> I don't have I don't have much faith in Sweet Pro. I'm gonna be honest with you. We did fully market it. Minus thirty thousand dollars right now is gonna turn into minus seventy thousand dollars. Oh, how did that happen? Uh, it did. Hold on. It did sell. Wait. So it has forty-seven thousand active users. It did minus 70,000. Oh, do I? Oh, it might do differently then based on... I don't know. <laughs> I don't know how a subscription-based piece of software necessarily makes money. I'm going to be honest with you. I have no idea. So, um... Yeah, that's fun. <laughs> that's that's great. Uh, let me see. Sales, bill, salaries. Deals got this. Sales did this. Let me have a look at sales. Subscription, oh, 142,000 on subscriptions alone. Okay. So maybe it'll do okay when we update it. Uh, I don't know. I don't, I don't know that I have faith in, uh, in Sweet Pro to actually make money, but we'll find out. Even with Sweet Pro kind of being a bit of a disappointment though, we're doing great everywhere else. Doors 2 is coming along. It might actually go out next year, which is great news. So I'll tell you what, let's, let's leave it there for today. I don't know how long this episode is going to be. I might end up splitting it into two because I'm coming up in like two and a half hours of recording. I don't know how much, I, I might end up just cutting off a lot of my rambling as well, but we'll, we'll see. I'm going to try and get this one down and not be crazy, crazy long, but thank you so much for watching everybody. I, uh, I think Nerdrosoft is in a pretty good spot. I want to have a look at me very quickly because, um... If we look at my years of the company, I've been here 42 years. I am 62 years old. I am going to be, I'm going to be gone. Like once this ticks over to 2025, I think I'm gone. I I think that's kind of how it works. Man, that's, <laughs> that's disappointing. I don't, so I'm not going to see the last King Doom game go out. I'm not going to be here for King Doom Infinite. I'm not going to be here for Doors 3. And I, I think... I think next time, the next episode, we need to sit down and start working on our console because I did say that I wanted me to be here at least when that project gets off the ground. It won't go out before I retire, but at the very least, I can be here to help design it and then uh, and then we go from there. Ooh, we nominated in four out of four this time. Best employer was me, naturally. Best product was me for Hellshock 2. Ooh. Best designer. Isn't this a new category? It is. Okay. Loretta Bond is the best designer. That's a new one. And then most profitable product had to be. It wasn't me. What, something was more profitable than Wave. Wow. Okay. Well, I'll tell you what. Let me let me place those before we wrap things up. Uh, best product was Hellshock 2. That was largely designed by our where's my fps team fps games night yeah these guys these guys did an amazing job with um with hellshock 2 so let's let's give them uh let's give them this give them the trophy put it by the door so put it right about right about there is pretty good and then loretta bond i don't know what team loretta bond is in so let me just have a look really really quickly can i sort by name and I'm looking for L, which I probably should have went the other way for it, but we're here now, so it's fine. Uh, Loretta, 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 antivirus team. Interesting. Okay, well, 
Where's my where's my antivirus team? That's porting, 3D, marketing, antivirus, antivirus leader. I don't know if that's Loretta Bond or not. So what does this do? Slow social needs and stress in room. Okay. We can put this, I'm going to say here. Seems like a really good place for it. And then most pro... You know what? Do we, we don't have room out here anymore. So I guess, yeah, that's fair enough. And what was this given for? Most profitable product 2022 silver. I've got no idea what this, what this was for. So we're just going to hold on to those. But I think... I think we can go ahead and leave it there for today. I want to say that we're doing... We're doing all right. Sweet was kind of a disappointment, but that's fine. It's it's kind of... Oh, wait. No, it did make a little bit of money. Not much, but I don't, I don't think Sweet is really going to make any money at all. Well, not any money worth talking about, but yeah. We're going to leave it there for today. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. It has been an absolute pleasure, as always. We need to start working on a console. We need to get Doors 2 out the door. We need to get... Uh, Wow, 2024. Look at that as a year. Canvas 8, Longsword 13, Vector 8, Hellshock 3, November this year, Wave 14. Next year, actually. All right. Thank you so much for watching. It's been an absolute pleasure as always. And as always, I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.